Yeah, I'm also recording. Cool. So, hello and welcome to a video series for the Winnie Agenda. I'm Wilfie Harig and I'm here with special guest Calvin, who you guys may have heard before on the show. He's been a special and distinguished guest many times, but today we're going to do something different, where we're going to play a game where I'm on the corpse side and he's on the runner side, and we're both going to talk over the game as it's going on. So... This is something that I'm not certain how it's going to go, but hopefully we'll provide some useful insights for you guys. Um, have we got this? Uh, can you... Have we got... How, I, I'm talking right now. Hello, I'm Calvin. I'm here with Wolfie to play some games. Um, currently, it's my, my Chaos Theory deck, which you guys may have heard a lot about. It's Chaos Theory with Logos and Rachel Beckman and Magnum Opus. Um, I've been playing it for like two years. I'm I'm happy with it, but uh, I'm still testing it out. It's the most recent version with some cards that I'm not 100% on. So Wolfie's very kindly invited me to be here on the winning agenda to play the deck and talk about maybe how it goes. Yes, uh, so I've chosen to keep my hand. Um, I'm going to Mulligan, which I'm going to do it now. Okay. Okay, yeah, yes, wait. I was just trying to work out if this bug has been fixed. Where, like, you're running on archives. Oh, it says I'm running on archives, I will jack out. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we can start the game. Uh, cool, so yeah, I'm playing the Palana Foods um, control -y deck that I found on the internet about 10 minutes before starting this recording. <laughs> um, because I've been wanting to make Palana Foods work for quite a while, um, and I'm just not certain as to the proper shell to do it in. So I'm going to start by icing R&D, putting something in a remote, and then protecting that remote. Okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so this remote could be anything. Um, why is the screen anything. yellow? Do you see yellow? Uh, not I'm yellow, not. orange kind of like things over my installed cards. Is that new? Yeah. I yeah, I think that uh, that feature is in Octagon. I don't. I this is my first time playing on Jinteki. But oh, really? The, I think it's just to show which cards have been installed in the previous turn. Ah, it's a, okay, it's a standard right. Octagon feature. That that's makes why sense. I wasn't. That's why I was not surprised. Ah. Like, what, what are these orange things? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start my turn. Uh, I'm gonna do the very standard, very boring shaper thing. Oh, just test running for Opus and clicking it three times. Uh, yes. Actually, I realized I made a mistake. I should have drawn a card first, so I'm going to draw one card. Right, because okay, then if you draw Opus, then there's no need to test run anymore, right? No, but so, yeah, but it's too late. I've already, te I've already test run the Opus, so I'm already making mistakes. Hey! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, this is a kind of um, experiment all around. So, yep, you draw a card, so I'm up to six credits. I'm going to start by resing Polana Agriplex before my turn begins. So, this is a card which... I was originally a bit down on before someone pointed out to me that it's basically in Polana, it's basically pad campaign with an upside, and pad campaigns yeah. already are like marginally playable Jinteki control card. So, yeah. the fact that it draws your card on your turn where you get to use it before the runner gets to use their card is very good, I think. So, I think you just go mandatory draw and, and it resolves naturally. Um, so, I'm going to. I'm not really worried about protecting HQ just yet, so I'm going to start by drawing a card. And then I suppose I should probably put something on HQ just in case you plan to... No, you can't really vamp me or legwork me, so let's ignore that for now. Let's just hedge fund and install this in a... on server 1. Yeah, let's get this scoring remote set up nice and early. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do... Um, since you've drawn me my magnum opus for free, that really helps me out. Oh yeah, I did uh, not think about that because your clicks are much more important when you have magnum opus, so that is a drawback to Agroplex, but I don't think... once I've uh, installed it on turn 1, I can't really um, not just not res it because of that, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. So, click 1, uh, install Opus, click 2, Opus, click 3, test run. 
and I'm going to get my imp out, and for my last slit, I'm going to run HQ. Oh yes, very clever, nice. And that yeah, and that imp is just going to go. Back. How do I run HQ? Uh, it, there should be a run in the options oh, that see. you can okay. do. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Yeah, I have no more action. Okay. Palana Agriplex. Well, I guess you have oh, to no. imp it since uh, you know your imp's about could, to go away, right? I could imp it. I could imp it. Yeah, all right, I'll imp it. Uh, oh, no, it's it. All it's right. cool. You need to click on the imp, but I'll just put it into my archives. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Well, uh, that's my turn. And then the imp is going to draw into my hand because of Palana, unless you trash it. Right, which I... Yep. Yep, cool. So maybe now... Now that you actually do have some HQ pressure, I'm going to need to ice up HQ somehow. So I would like to get some money somehow, so let's draw a card. Um, and then I want to install two things this turn, I think. So let's have a couple options. I definitely want to install over HQ, but I'm not sure what in what sort of order I want to do things. I think let's... Harvester. 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 Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Um, so you have no clicks, no credits, so you're unlikely to run next turn. So I don't necessarily have to ice HQ, but given that I know you have imp, I probably should. So let's just... I don't really want to draw again, so let's just install this in new remote and put this over HQ. I think that's the best thing to do. I would okay. like to get some more burst economy, though. Okay, so I'm just going to take a... Yep. Normally I would I would draw one, but because of the agroplex, that's fine. Yep, because it already gives you the number of cards. You'll already have one card, like an extra card that you want to play next turn. So, yep, mandatory draw, and the agroplex. Hmm. All right. Since this Jackson went uh, unattacked, I'll use it for my first action. And then, hmm. Couple options here. I think the best thing to do is to um hmm let's Jackson again. I really do want to find some burst economy. Perfect restructure. Everything's coming up perfectly, and let's ditch these useless cards into archives. Oh, uh, and another card. Another useless card. Alright, let's go with this one. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's begin the turn by making a run on Jackson. Okay, I will... could not use it, but... Credits aren't, don't really seem to be that important since uh, Calvin has magnum opus, so let's just use it even though it's not that much value to do so. Okay. Then I will install Beckman. Oh my god, Rachel Beckman. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, your trump card, right? Yeah, this is uh, this is what makes the deck go. Um, are you? I, I don't know if it's a trump card, but it's like a serious power enabler. Where usually the problem with Opus is that you have no time. Right. Beckman is Beckman is a is a way to give me that time. Um, are you? Would you consider the new uh, Beckman, the one from the latest set, Akshara? Or, or I'm not certain if that's the name. It's a zero cost resource where it, it, each yeah, player yeah. has additional uh -huh. click. I don't know. The problem is that giving my weakest matchup NBN four clicks is kind of asking for it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, all right, so let's transform uh, this um, Agriplex server into a scoring server. Okay. So you've you've in, you've installed uh, you fast tracked the Nisei, but you installed something. I assume it's the Nisei, but I don't know. It could be and anything. I don't know if I. It could be anything, and I don't know that I can check it. But you had did advance the Nisei, so it's not that bad. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, do my standard play when faced with a situation like this, which I think is uh, to just try, try and, and just oh. try and pressure something else. Yeah. Yep. 
um, I was thinking about a legwork run because I have a legwork in, in hand, but given that you've had to fast track an agenda, I don't think there is an agenda in HQ. Uh, okay, so what I'll do is, so first click our quality time. Yep, that makes sense. Oh my god, five clicks. Yeah, I know, it's so good. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a stim hack, so I can't challenge the remote server. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make life difficult for you. How do I host things on personal workshop? Uh, you click on the personal workshop. Okay. And then there should be, right. I, I don't think, I, I haven't played personal workshop before, but there should be an option hosts card on personal workshop. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, chameleon. It's, it's like that, is it? Yeah. Oh, I remember this deck now. Yeah. Uh, and then I will... Three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand, and then I will install the SMC. SMC. Yep. And then I will have to trash. I have to trash a card, right? Yep. So just drag it to the heap. So I trash torch. torch yep. All right. So this card, which is in a remote, which could be anything. Um. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You you just keep saying that. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to two credits, so the likely situation next turn is that you can get up to ten credits and then run somewhere. So ten credits Hmm. I'm not certain how I wanna spend my resources. I think the best thing to do is to install hmm. Let's install an R and D, advance once, and hedge fund. Since I really don't want to get this hedge fund imped. <laughs> okay. And then uh, next turn I could do something, anything. <laughs> yeah. Now the the ice in R and D, the ice on R and D is a great move actually because um, I was planning to attack R and D if I couldn't get through the scoring server. Right, because you like there's two unres like. One, you have a chameleon there, and two, there's two unres ice on the scoring server plus an upgrade, uh, yeah. and there's only one ice on R&D, so suddenly you're going to be able to get into R&D next turn, so I figured the best thing to do against a shapers like this is to try and have one more ice on R&D than is necessary. Yeah. Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, the issue here is that I'm I'm low on credits because I took the turn to install Beckman, and you and you took that opportunity to, to to do the Nisei. So what I'm thinking now is I'm thinking of a of a HQ attack with Imp because that seems like this like the play that would most likely succeed. But also at the same time, that to me feels like I'm just doing something for the sake of doing something. Like I don't want you to get away with the agenda. Right. And I'm wondering if that's the best idea. And like the time you spent doing that, you can just uh, have 10 more, eight or 10 more credits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, there's not likely to be high value targets in HQ given that you got the needs to fast track the Nisei. So like worst case scenario, there's something good in there that I can imp, but I don't know that that's worth the tempo. It, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna take 10. Yep. Cool, and now I'll take this time to score my agenda. Woo! You mean the one that we that we didn't know was in the remote <laughs> all this time? Yes, I'm sure you thought it was a uh, Thomas Haas or something. Yay! Okay, so now that I have twelve credits, I am significantly more comfortable uh, doing this. So first, I will test run. I will get a fem. Yep, and where would you like to place the fem? I will bypass the outer ice. It's I mean usually it's the outer ice. Uh, then I will take credit, take credit, make a sign. All right. So I guess you fem this so there's no point resing it. Maybe, and then. Uh, I continue the run. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so I should res this enigma. Okay. So I will pay for chameleon then you have to then you're over memory right 
Uh, yes, I am over memory. I will trash the SMC. That's fine. But that was, that that is a poor play on my part. Yeah. That's Do you want you just, you can just use the SMC now, right? There's nothing to SMC that will break Enigma. Oh, Chameleon sure. is the only part in the deck. Oh, but uh, I mean, you can use SMC to get Lady or whatever. I guess that's kind of wasting your resources, maybe. No, that's fine. Uh, I will trash the SMC. I will. Yep. Break. break both. Oh, maybe break both. Depends on what. Yeah, I need. I'm going to break both subs, and then I'm going to continue the run to access. Perfect. For your first access of the no, you accessed the card from HQ earlier. That's right. True. Access card from deck. Pay one to crush Caprice Nisei. <laughs> No. Oh wait, no, sorry, I, comple I completely forgot to do something, sorry. Oh, that's I'm fine, to, just, so uh... Also gonna put my imp out. Oh, sure, sure, just, uh... Put, hmm... Just, don't, do nothing, no, wait, I think... Just... Okay, you know what, uh, we'll, we'll do it post after the fact. So, what I'm gonna trash Caprice Nisei. Yep, and then, then if you say something you want to imp, I'll just draw it and then discard it. Yeah, I access the Corporal States team, steal. Yep. And then from third access... Uh, it's. Oh, you could probably just like. Oh, the future perfect. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yep. So first, we have to play the game on the future perfect. Wait, what's going on? Okay. How do you it's have accidentally installed two imps? How do I you have don't... two imps? Yeah, I don't have two imps. It's accidentally installed two imps. Oh, and they're just it's hanging out there. Back. Yeah. Uh, that's very so weird. I, I've, I've never. Tra I've trashed a second imp. Uh, but. Okay, let's yeah, just anyway. keep going. <laughs> okay, so there's a future perfect, we have to play the side game. Okay, so you have 5 credits, I have 14 credits. I don't know anything about your side game preferences so far, so I'm going to choose the safest number. Okay. Okay, so I, I spent 2, you spent 0, I'm going to imp the future perfect. Please okay, it. yep, so I'll just draw it. Uh, Yep, before you do anything, I'll just draw it and then put it into archives. Thanks. It's cool. And then for my final click, I will uh, scavenge. Now, do I want to do R&D pressure with this fem? Or do I want to like threaten the remote to make you really nervous? Hmm. Given that I don't think you have any agendas, I'm going to do the. I'm going to do the R and D ice. Right, that makes sense. Right. Um, and so the imp should have one counter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll just cool. remember. Yeah, that that's fine. One count. Uh, so zero clicks, three credits, and a fem on R and D. Um, all right, I have a couple options here. I think the best thing to do is this one. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Okay. Okay. That's that's putting a lot of pressure on me. Uh you have twelve credits. I've given up my SMC, so I basically ceded control of the remote. I don't think I can get into that remote ever, so let's play the side game. Let's go into archives. Yep, go into archives, that makes sense. Yep, no more action. Okay. Okay, let's run on archives again. Yep, we're just gonna keep on doing this, are we? Uh, we might as well. Uh, successful run. Steal the future perfect. Okay, run. Future perfect. Side game, side game. Number three. No! I, <laughs> I was gonna be zero on the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, now I'm at five points, which makes me happy. Although you now are in a very, very dangerous situation for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep for that dangerous situation. Uh, 
by putting a card on workshop and then taking some money. Right. So this is what I like about my deck. In in uh, one of the things I like my, my, about my deck a lot is that at some point you can just stop drawing cards. Right, because Opus and your you know once you have your rig out then. Yeah, I mean I don't have my full rig, but it's close enough that I feel confident in being able to uh, to just make two. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and flush HQ uh, with a legwork. It's a blind legwork, but my bet is that at six credits you won't be able to res anything that Chameleon or Fem can't deal with. Right. Lotus field. Lotus field. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, it's all right. still not the worst thing in the world. No, all right. So I can't break that. So run the trace. Yep. The first trace. So the first one is trace three. Trace three. Do I want to pay three credits? No. Nope, it a click is not worth three credits to me. It's worth two credits. Okay. So zero mm -hmm. on the first one. Uh, and then the second one will be trace four, I think. Okay, so you bumped it by one. Yeah, all right. I'll one. pay four credits to see three cards. Okay, continue run. Um, so I could nice it, but I think that's fairly... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to nice it. I'm too scared. I'll be honest, I completely forgot about the nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, okay. Alright, so that imp still has a counter. Um, I think what I want to do is... Hmm. Let's just... Hmm. So you have four credits. Let's. Hmm. I have a couple options here, but I think I'm fairly low on credits to operate any of them. So let's just install this and gain two credits. Okay. Okay. So that might be a brain trust. So that's not nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and draw for options. Wait, no, should I try and draw for options? It could be a brain trust, it could be game ending, but I can't get in. Hmm. Okay, then what I'll probably do is... Okay, so first I'll draw one card. Mm, it's an SMC, it doesn't really do anything for me. <laughs> uh, then I'll draw another card. Remember the imp okay. still has a counter. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do remember that. Thank you. Uh, I will... Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yep. Draw a third card. Nothing. Okay. Uh, then I will play my traffic jam. Traffic jam? Oh my god. What's that do? Oh my god. That could be bad. Or it could be good. Then I'll run R&D. Uh, okay, I will let you in. <coughs> okay, so I will continue the run. Pay one credit with Comedian. Yep. Okay. Continue the run. And it's a uh, restructure, which I will... Yeah, okay, input. Input, okay, sure. So yeah. I'll gain a click and draw a card and then put it into my bin. Okay, and turn, go. Sweet, so you have one credit, chameleon in hand, nothing on the imp. Um, Fem is your only breaker, and chameleon in hand. So let's, I don't know what the top card is going to be, so let's draw a card. Um, yeah, let's draw a card. Hmm, lots of options. Let's start by using this Jackson that survived for a turn to try and find some more good cards to play. And yes, perfect. The next the card I want most of all is Celebrity Gift. 
Okay, cool. Two, three, four, and five. Five out of seven, that's a pretty good, like, ratio. Future Perfect, Crit, Christian Grip, Pop, Himit, Subako. Okay. Cool, and now I need to work out what cards I want to discard. Let's go with... Um... These two. Cool. Right. So I could keep running uh, R&D, but I think that single accesses aren't good value, especially given that you can res the ice that's in front now. So first slip, I'm going to diesel. Uh, I actually have been denying your ability for a very long time. Yes. Realize, like... Because I've not been drawing cards. Yeah, but like I've actually found, like I haven't played this. This is the first game I played with this deck. But playing, I have played Polana a little bit. And I found that it actually doesn't like really seem to have to matter. Like it's very rare that from the runner side, I I haven't played any games against Polana, but it seems to me from playing Polana that the runner choosing not to draw cards because they don't want to like enable the ability is fairly bad, just because like the advantage is that you get like five to ten credits over a long game losing one credit doesn't really hurt but having the runner want to draw and choose not to draw can very much hurt them yeah uh up, up until this point i not needed to draw cards right it's not that i was purposely holding back for your ability your turn by the way um uh okay cool so i will start my turn perfect uh so what do you do you just Host Diesel, Hosted Chameleon, and Opus three times. Cool. My Logos is not showing up. Oh which, no. And, and it's a, and it's basically a dead card at this point, so. <laughs> Alright, let's start by using this Jackson. And then let's install and double advance. Okay. So this is a this is the Hail Mary turn <laughs> for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to quality time, see if I can. OK, yes, stim hack, stim hack achieved. Uh, then I'm going to install SMC, trashing this imp. Are you over uh, memory still, or is it just being a bit weird? It's being a bit weird. So I've got the Opus, the Fam, and the SMC, right? Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah. Uh, then, so that was click two. Click three, I was scavenge. The fam onto the remote ice. That was my secret weapon all along. <laughs> um, let's see what else I can do here. Nah, let's do that. Cool. So you have one click left, four credits, going up to nine credits. Yeah. So I have a couple options. think hmm I'm not sure what the best option is I think the best option is to not res okay second second ice res caprice nothing further okay and then do you want to do oh. anything before caprice I see what you did there that was nice. Okay, I'm gonna SMC. Uh, I haven't seen any ice off your deck. I don't know what to SMC. Well, you saw the things I celebrity gifted, right? Yeah, yeah. So I know the style, right? So that's Pop, Baco, Crick. What do I really not want to bump into? A lotus field. Cool. So Artman Fall. Yep. Okay. Alright. Let's play the side game. Play the side game. <laughs> okay. Uh it says I took a brain damage. What did it damage? Okay, uh, I lost my clutch. Yeah, okay. Uh and then let's but that seems like kind of strange because now you can't even 
Oh, because, because you spent two? Because I was thinking, now even if it is Lotus Field, you can't get back in, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that so my, my spending two was actually a really bad decision. Yeah, uh, although I, I didn't even I think just, about that. I just uh, bid, bid randomly. No, but I should have thought about that, right? Like, if I bid two, I can't get back in. Right, if it is Lotus Field like you expect, or like, depending on what the fem dice is, even. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's Hail Mary time. Let's run where I know I can get in. It's HQ. So single access on HQ for the win. Uh, sure, yeah. So one credit. Yeah, no, just one credit, yeah. Paco. Alright, so good game. Yep, good game. So that came down to the wire. I think I like I mismanaged my credits just very slightly. What are the ice on the remote? Uh, I'll score it and then we'll talk about it. Okay. I I've clicked end turn multiple times. Oh, okay. It's just lagging. Oh, it says discard to four cards. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, game. God. Um, they were an Eli and a wraparound. Okay. Which I like, oh. yeah, didn't want to res for ages because I wanted to make you, uh, you know, have the, like, have to guess, you know, the code gate yeah. barrier dilemma. Yeah. Um, but okay. apart from that, I don't know, drawing the celebrity gift was very lucky. If I hadn't drawn the celebrity gift, there's no way I would have been fast enough to even a attempt to do anything. Yeah, but it was a close game. Uh, that was a quality maker's eye for me coming out there, got five points off that. Well, technically two, but then the future perfect went in archives and... Yeah, I act, like I actually had the Jackson in hand, like, it was also lucky that I drew the future perfect, like, and the G... Basically, I drew the GFI after you maker's eyed, like, which was yeah. the perfect card to draw. But, like, I actually could have... I had the Jackson in hand, so I could have Jacksoned to save the future perfect. But I figured, on average, you're spending three clicks to go in there which is like and you're so with opus and you need so much money and you have opus so like i figure score me scoring the three pointer and giving up the future perfect and wasting a bunch of your time most likely yeah. i think yeah. was worth it even though it, se it seems very strange since like having jackson and not rescuing an agenda like that you know is in your in archives and that you know that I you're actually, go I for completely it. agree with you. I think I think that that was a a good play. You, I mean, there was no good play in those in either of those moments. Uh, I don't think there was a great play. That was just like one is more defensive and one is more offensive. <clears throat> yeah, and I mean, it definitely, I think that given that I'm under pressure, like the biggest hurdle you had was that you didn't have a full. Like, Fem made you make choices on where you wanted to attack, so I thought that the remote, that, like, there was only a limited amount of time that I could score from the remote, basically, unless I, like, was very lucky on Caprice. Okay. Right, so, um, the other thing that I think really turned the game was I didn't get my logos. I have both my logos in hand, I got them off the quality time. The oh my god. Time. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't get them earlier. If I had gotten even a single trigger from that, it would have been indexing onto R&D. Right, and like, I basically had to hope the whole... Like, the ice that you femmed was toll booth, like, correctly. Yeah. And so I basically had to hope the whole game that, like, yeah, as you know, the single accesses were fairly poor uses of your time, so... Um, anyway, yeah, I, I think that was... I didn't, get, I didn't get my indexings, I didn't get my RDIs. I'm not complaining. I no, think, no. I think... I, I agree. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, if we're going to record more videos, we which we are, um, we should sign off now. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was useful. Oh yeah, thank thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.